The United States is home to several of the world's largest sculpted portraits. But which one is the biggest? Lincoln Memorial, Washington, D.C.? Crazy Horse Monument, South Dakota? Or Mount Rushmore, South Dakota? The United States is home to several of the world's largest sculpted portraits. But which one is the biggest? Hello, I'm Rob DeWall, and this is Crazy Horse Memorial, the biggest sculpture in progress in the world. The, the face of Crazy Horse, just the sculpted part, is, is already the largest sculpted portrait in the world. It's almost nine stories high. If, if you have a, a nine-story building in your town, visualize that. That's how tall the face of Crazy Horse is. The Crazy Horse sculpture is located in the Black Hills of South Dakota. When completed, it will be 563 feet high. And you can see from here why it's the largest sculpture in the world. The horse's head that we're working on now is 22 stories high. The figure being carved is Lakota Chief Crazy Horse. Crazy Horse was a great hero to his people. He's pointing and he's riding a horse. He's pointing and he's saying, my lands are where my debt lie buried. That outstretched arm is uh, 227 feet long. The Lakota elders came up with the idea before the Second World War. In 1939, they hired sculptor Korzak Sholkowski. In the beginning, he planned to carve only the top 100 feet. But he had learned more about Native people and the story of the Native American in North America. Uh, he decided it was an epic story that required an epic scale. It's very dangerous working on the mountain. Workers use explosives to carve the statue out of the mountain. What you're looking at is a blast fragment off the mountain carving. It's pegmatite granite. It's very, very hard. It's one of the hardest rocks on the planet. And such hard rock requires a really, really big explosion. It's a fine art of explosives engineering. Everything is meticulously planned and engineered in terms of the measurement and the angling of blasts and the size of blasts and the location of blasts. Since the original sculptor Korzak Sholkowski passed away in 1982, people like Rob DeWall will carry on his work for years to come. Testimony to him is that he always said this could continue after his death and should continue, and it could be continued by good engineers. And the proof of that is behind me. Tomahawk is a town located in Lincoln County, Wisconsin. Tomahawk is an alternative rock band from the United States. And the largest tomahawk in the world weighs almost 16,000 pounds. Hello, I'm Walter Pooler, here in Cutknife in front of the world's largest tomahawk. In the middle of the Canadian prairies, Saskatchewan to be exact, small town has a mighty big axe to grind. Well, actually an axe. This is the location of the world's largest tomahawk. Oh, it reminds me of like Indians. So, yeah. This looks like a hammer to me. <laughs> well, the tomahawk is a stone hammer that the Indian people use to mash up berries and make pemmican things of that nature. More than 1,800 people, Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal, from Cutknife and the surrounding area, work together on the project. The Tomahawk was built in 1971, and they had their official unveiling in July of that year. 60 feet high. Look out. That's guys game. Well, at least as long as a bus. Two stories. My Uncle Sean. 
the handle on it is uh, longer than any tool bike you would see. While the citizens of Cutknife may not agree on the size of the tomahawk, they agree that it is more than just a tourist attraction. That we can live in harmony and accomplish huge project. I'm proud to be from Cutknife, and the tomahawk is Cutknife. In case you missed what all the fuss is about, here is the final word on Cutknife's world's largest tomahawk. Big.